We have a rest day tomorrow, so hopefully my spirits will be up a bit by then. But there is a truth and it's on our side. Dawn is coming, open your eyes. Look into the sun. So, feeling much better now. Uh, on the middle of our rest day, had a good breakfast. I'm just going to have a load of boiled veg. Uh, had a good shower just now, midday shower, feel great. But I'm actually quite proud of myself. Here, look at this. That is it's the first washing I've done ever. I'm quite chuffed. I feel much better. I really was feeling terrible and uh, today is going to be a great day because today as far as we're concerned it's all about enjoyment. It's not about pace, trying to go so fast or keep up the pace so this is going to be a great day. Over here, all the way. Look at my hair; it's terrible. <laughs> all the way over here, cycling across Australia, and who am I meeting? We, we had it arranged, but Phil, who lives over the back from me, so Phil. Hey, it's a better <laughs> night out than Edelston. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just had a bite to eat. Uh, it was really good, just catching up. But what a small world it is, eh? What a small world. We ended up running into this chap, Sam, who was cycling across Australia all on his own. Uh, his friend had been slightly injured and he was meeting him in Esperance, but what a great guy. And uh, he stayed with us for several days. Just a wonderful guy. The people we've been meeting on this trip have been amazing. Well, it's such a beautiful area to cycle. There was always one danger lurking that we, we had to keep such an open eye for. Done 127 kilometers. I'm determined to make it two days at 150. I am knackered. Such a beautiful country though. Today I'm knackered. Feeling a wee bit worn down spiritually. I'm missing the engine, the kids. And sometimes when people are giving you advice, it can sound a bit like that, it's starting to annoy me. But I think I'm just tired. 
I was going to take I was going to take today off but I'll give it a bash I'm agony, I'm so sore and my legs are covered covered in mosquito bites and some of them are blistered but try and keep positive uh, let's just keep going This is an amazing part of the countryside. Australia just goes on and on and on. I'm cycling on my own again. I think I'm starting to see uh, a lot of people just want to cycle on their own. I notice a lot of the group just split, split up completely. Uh, it's not for me. I'm, I always wanted to socialise and have a chat. That's me. But uh, but I'm finding this beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I have to say that uh, once we were away from the hills, uh, it was pretty. There was a lot of nice flat areas. It was it was good, and I started to maybe get into a rhythm and uh, handle the cycling a bit better. And so we arrived in Esperance, and uh, what a beautiful place. But I'll tell you, I was desperate in a nice hot shower, and the showers were amazing. We, we had to change our schedule uh, because of the winds that we had, and there was a big storm. Otherwise, we were going to be spending a night sleeping here. Cape Le Grand is so beautiful. I'm going to have to come back with Angie and the kids sometime. And the next morning we said goodbye to Esperance and headed off to the Mali, or as the Aussies call it, the Mali. Funny, we've stopped at a little town called Grass Patch, it's tiny. And here's a war memorial. To Leslie Thomas Starkovich. And just over here, uh, there's a, they've got a poem made by a woman from Scotland, from Berwickshire. Uh, she wrote a poem about his heroism. I'll show you. He led those lads on bravely, that Australia might be free, and now we proudly welcome the Malay's first VC. Wasted and wounded, and it ain't what the moon did. I've got what I paid for now. See you tomorrow. Hey, Frank, can 
can I borrow a couple of bucks from you to go waltzing Matilda? <laughs> 